so a very good morning to all the students to be present there so today uh, we will discuss about uh, uh, vacuum circuit breaker you all discussed about in my previous lectures about different types of circuit breaker where you have discussed about uh, something like called as a coil circuit breaker you have discussed about ear class circuit breaker you have discussed about sf6 circuit breaker and uh, lastly we have a vacuum circuit breaker now uh, again the formula or you can say that the main principle behind uh, this circuit breaker is exactly same that you all know whenever circuit breaker has to operate uh, its moving contact will move from the fixed contact and whenever the moving contact gets separated from the fixed contact due to the high potential barrier between these two contacts an arc is struck and you have to quench this arc you have to extinguish this arc in a minimum possible shortest time and uh, the media used for quenching the arc or the media used for extinguish the arc depends upon the circuit breaker like if i talk about the oil circuit breaker so in that case uh, the oil is can be used as a quenching media to quench the arc generated between the moving contact as well as the fixed contact and in the similar case we have a uh, air blast circuit breaker and in the similar way we have a uh, sf6 circuit breaker and uh, now in case of vacuum circuit breaker whenever the arc is generated or arc is struck between the two contacts that is a moving contact as well as the fixed contact and you have to quench this arc in a minimum possible shortest time so the media that we can use to quench the arc is basically the vacuum so that is why here it can be seen that in this breaker vacuum is being used as a arc quenching media so question is whenever you use a uh, quenching media as a, a vacuum then that circuit breaker is basically called as vacuum circuit breaker and commonly this type of circuit breaker is known as vcb v stands for vacuum cb stands for circuit breaker and normal you can say that in all the grid stations in all the generating stations or in all the substations uh, the normal circuit breaker that we can use is basically the vcb this vacuum offers high insulating strength Uh, it has a far superior arc quenching any other media so that is why this is one of the most and most important media to quench the arc that is why this vacuum circuit breaker you can say that has a high insulating strength okay when contacts of the circuit breaker are opened in a vacuum the interruption occur at the first current zero with the dielectric strength between the two contacts building up a rate of 1000 times of obtain with other circuit breaker so you <coughs> this is exactly basically happen in case of oil circuit breaker or in case of sf6 circuit breaker so when the breaker operates the moving contacts separate from the fixed contact and arc is struck between these two contact this is exactly same happen in case of oil circuit breaker air blast circuit breaker as well as sf6 circuit breaker in the same case in case of vacuum circuit breaker when a breaker operates the moving contact separate from the fixed contact and when the these contacts are separated an arc is struck between these two contacts the production of arc is due to the ionization of the metal ions and uh, depends upon very much upon the material of the contact this arc will be quickly extinguished because the metallic vapors electrons and the ion produces an arc are diffused in a short time and sees the surface of the moving and fixed contact members as well as the shield so you have to quench this arc in a minimum possible shortest time otherwise the temperature of the circuit breaker is increased very rapidly <coughs> which will affect the system or in turn it will affect the circuit breaker so the question is whenever there is a arc struck between the moving contact and the fixed contact in case of circuit breaker this arc you have to be quench in a minimum possible shortest time so that this arc is no longer flow in case of these two contact and when the arc will no flow the temperature doesn't rise and hence your system as well as circuit breaker can operate safely so this is the general you can say that the diagram or a pictorial representation of vacuum circuit breaker so in this case of vacuum circuit breaker again one of the most important thing there are only the two main important components that is a called as a fixed contact as well as the moving contact but in between you have a certain arc chamber you have vapor condensation shield you have fixed terminal you have moving terminal 
and also uh, you can say that different type of equipment that are incorporated in a base cpu this is uh, you can say that the more representation or the more uh, pictorial representation of your vcb that is vacuum circuit breaker you can see on an extreme left hand side you have a fixed chamber and on a right hand side you have a movable chamber and in between the fixed chamber and the movable chamber there is called as the arcing range so in these two arcing range there is a called as the contact so whenever there is a high current or the high voltage flows due to certain fault conditions so fixed contact remain at its position but the moving contact gets separated and when the moving contact has to be separated an arc is struck between the fixed contact and the moving contact and you have to extinguish the arc and the media used to extinguish the arc is basically the vacuum so that is why this type of circuit breaker is known as vacuum circuit breaker so these are certain points that incorporate with vacuum circuit breaker one of its end is welded to the moving contact its other end is welded to the lower end flange its contacts have large disc shaped faces these faces contain spiral segments so that the arc current produced axial magnetic length the geometry helps the arc to move over the contact surface the movement of the arc over the contact surface minimizes metal evaporation and hence erosion of the contact due to the arc so two metal end rings are provided in this vcb so these are all you can say that the construction part of vcb i will share this ppt with you people so you can go to this ppt so that you you, you please get an idea that how this vacuum circuit breaker can operates okay so these are all the points now if you talk about the advantages of the vacuum circuit breaker there are so many advantages of vacuum circuit breaker uh, they are compact reliable and have a longer life they have no fire hazards because in this case there is no any uh, you can say that extra equipment or extra uh, arc quenching media which will be present so the uh, chances of the fire is very very low in case of vcb there is no generation of the gas during and after operation uh, they can interrupt any fault current the outstanding feature of vcb is that it can break any heavy current perfectly just before the contact reaches the definite open position so you can say that this type of vcb can be used over a wide range that it can be operate at a, any fault current so whatever the fault current that means uh, whatever the you have a magnitude of the fault current so this type of circuit breaker we can use so that is why this type of circuit breaker can be used in generating station in grid station in substation because in grid, in generating station we have a very high uh, power will be generated so continuously you have a high voltage to be there as well as the high current to be there so if you have to protect the system of your generating part against any short circuit condition so here you can use a vcb that is a vacuum circuit breaker in the same case it can be also used in your transmission system it can be also used in our distribution system so uh, due to this main application or you to due to main advantage that it can interrupt a very high current it can be used in variety of the ranges it require very less maintenance and uh, it is very quiet in operation Uh, they can successfully with withstanding the surges they have a lower energy uh, they have a low moment of inertia and hence require smaller power for the control mechanism so these are certain advantages of the uh, vacuum circuit breaker coming to the part of the application uh, vacuum circuit breaker are employed for outdoor installation up to 22 uh, kv to 66 kv for the voltage is up to 36 kv it can be also installed vcb with a single interrupter is becoming extremely popular for metal enclosed switch gear arc furnaces installation auxiliary switch gear in generating station and other industrial application so as i had already tell you that uh, this vcb has a very very uh, high you can say that uh, application parts so it can be used in your generating station grid station as well as substation so it can be used in a uh, variety of substation we can use this type of vcb and one of the most important thing in vcb that it require a very less maintenance because there is no any you can say that the media present to quench the r so that is why uh, the maintenance part is very very low the operation part is very very high the reliability is very very high efficiency is very very high so due to all these advantages uh, we can use this vcb in a number of applications okay so here uh, you have a 
brief idea about the types of circuit breaker now this is this this chart is basically you can say that the combining of all the circuit breaker that we have done uh, we have done oil circuit breaker we have done air circuit breaker we have done vacuum circuit breaker we have done sf6 circuit breaker so uh, this chart is basically uh, you can see that uh, what is the arc quenching media in that particular circuit breaker and what is the voltage range as you see we have first will be called as the miniature circuit breaker that is generally called as mcb and this mcb is basically that circuit breaker that we can use in our household appliances uh, you remember uh, we will connect one circuit breaker in uh, in the installation of air conditioners or you can use a circuit breaker in installation of your household activities or household appliances so that circuit breaker is basically called as a, a miniature circuit breaker that is called as mcb and here no you can say that external energy is required to quench the arc only the atmospheric air can be used uh, for a quenching media so that is why here we have air at atmospheric pressure can be used as arc quenching media and uh, the working voltage will be equal to 400 volt to 600 volt and for very small current rating capacity this type of circuit breaker we can use next you have air circuit breaker uh, we can use air at atmospheric pressure and the voltage is about 400 volt to 11 kV and the power heading capacity will be 5 to 720 MB and so on. You have a minimum oil in case of minimum oil circuit breaker. We can use transformer oil as arc quenching media. We have vacuum circuit breaker. We can use vacuum as arc quenching media. We have SF6 circuit breaker. In this case, we can use SF6 gas as a quenching media and similarly we have air blast circuit breaker in that case we can use air at a compression that is compressed air can be used in order to quench this arc so depending upon the various arc quenching method we can classify our circuit breaker into the number of circuit breakers and also depending upon the voltage level the current rating level and the power rating capacitor we can also classify our circuit breakers so this is all about you can say that the types of circuit breaker now if you talk about the selection of circuit breaker for a particular application you have to select one circuit breaker that can be used in particular application. So for that thing, we have this chart. Like uh, if you your working voltage is below 1 kV, that is if your working voltage is around 1000 volt, below 1000 volt, in that case, we can use air circuit breaker. But if your voltage will be about 3.3 kV to 33 kV, then we can use vacuum circuit breaker. We can use SF6 circuit breaker. We can use minimum oil circuit breaker. We can we can we can have a choice of these type of circuit breaker, but preferably in that working voltage we are using the vacuum circuit breaker. Similarly, if you have a working voltage about 132 kV to 220 kV, so in that case again we are using SF6 circuit breaker, air blast circuit breaker, as well as MOCB circuit breaker. That is called as the minimum oil circuit breaker. But in that case we are preferred about SF6 circuit breaker. So here from the examination point of view, or you can say that. Uh, for your competitive exams, here the question comes that up till this voltage level, which type of circuit breaker can be uh, preferred or which type of circuit breaker can be used. For example, if in a numerical, if in a question paper of the university exam, final exam, uh, there is a, some question that for the voltage about 132 kV to 220 kV, uh, what type of circuit breaker you can use? And you have a four options like you have MOCB, air blast circuit breaker, vacuum circuit breaker, and SF6 circuit breaker. So you can see that for the voltage level about 132 kV to 220 kV, we are generally use SF6 circuit breaker. So you have to mark the correct option that is called as the SF6 circuit breaker. But now, in this case also, we have a different type of choices available. We can use SF6, we can use MOCB, we can use air blast. So here you can see that for the voltage about 132 kV to 220 kV, we are not using the vacuum circuit breaker. So there will be chances that in a university exam, there is a question that for a working voltage of 132 kV and 220 kV, which type of circuit breaker cannot be used? So we have a four options to be there. That is SF6, MOCB, air blast and vacuum. So the correct option for that thing will be vacuum circuit breaker. So whatever the question you will be asked from the university exam or your competitive exam, for that thing, you have to follow this table 14.2, that is the selection of the circuit breaker. Okay, I think you can just an idea that depending upon the voltage level, we have different type of circuit breaker available, but preferable will be, uh, we have vacuum for 3.3 kV to 33 kV, SF6 for 132 kV to 220 kV, and also SF6 for 400 kV to 760 kV. Because for high voltages, if you employ 
vacuum circuit breaker then uh, there will be chances that the arc will be not pinched uh, if you use air blast so you are required a very high rate of compression rate of air to quench the arc but in case of high voltages if you use sulfur hexafluoride gas as quenching media so this can be uh, done as a remarkable job and it proves will be it proves will be very best in case of circuit breaker so that is why for high voltage dating we are generally use this sf6 circuit breaker okay so next will be you have a circuit breaker rating and this is the last topic of your circuit breaker in that case we are discussed about the different types of circuit breaker rating that we will continue in our next class so in the next class this chapter will be over okay so now i think you can you people get an idea about vcb what do you mean by this vcb how does this vcb operate uh, what are the various uh, selections criteria for a circuit breaker and also you have <clears throat> the different type of circuit breaker depending upon their voltage level as well as their uh, arc quenching media we can classify so this is all about for today's lecture and we are only left with one lecture that is the rating of the circuit breaker that we will cover in next lecture and in next lecture this chapter will be completed okay so this is all from my side okay ji yeah students is it clear yes sir sir okay fine so now just a minute सर एक क्वेश्चन है मेरा या प्लीज प्लीज टेल मी सर आपने कुछ स्प्रिंग मैकेनिज्म बताया था जो आपने इसकी वर्किंग बताई थी ना पहला वाला वर्किंग की पहली स्लाइड थी उसमें वो समझ नहीं आया सर वो क्या क्या है मतलब कैसे सिस्टम है पूरा स्प्रिंग मैकेनिज्म हाउ द सर्किट ब्रेकर कैन ऑपरेट ना सर वीसीबी की पहली स्लाइड थी वीसीबी की मतलब ये जो आपने वीसीबी पढ़ा है ना सर वर्किंग वाली पहली स्लाइड थी जो इसमें वर्किंग लिखी थी वो समझ नहीं आया ओके ओके आई विल टेल यू जस्ट अ just a minute Uh, my screen is visible can i this yes sir visible sir this thing when i sir iske agli wali slide this thing no sir jo apne working thi na uski to vacuum circuit breaker ki working thi uski pehli no, slide i will start, i i will start for today lecture from this na this is the vacuum circuit breaker after that you have a circuit breaker this thing no sir this is agle wali karna sir this thing no sir ye diagrams ke baad wali yeah this thing ha sir ye spiral segments hai na ye samajh nahi aaya kaise wale kaun se wale sir third or fourth point jaise okay 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 one of its end is welded and moving contact its another end is welded to the old and uh, lower and l edge its contents have a large shape faces these faces contain a spiral arrangement segment okay okay i can understand uh, uh, just a minute uh, vinayak i will do you one thing just a minute i will uh, see that uh, my screen is visible to all uh, you just give me one minute i will share one uh, youtube video for working of circuit breaker you can all watch this circuit breaker video after that you can get an idea about the working of circuit breaker okay you just give me one minute because if you get sure, a sir. if you get a pictorial representation then you can get a more broader idea that about the circuit breaker okay just a minute electric medium hota tha other mediums iska use 11 kilo volt to 33 kilo volt tak ke power ko disconnect karne ke liye kiya jata hai watching the video अगर आपको लगेगा कि ये चैनल आपके लिए हेल्पफुल है तो प्लीज चैनल को ताकि आने वाला न्यू वैक्यूम सर्किट ब्रेकर जो रहता है वो फिक्स्ड कांटेक्ट और मूविंग कांटेक्ट जो है वो हाई कंडक्टिंग 
मटेरियल का बना हुआ रहता है वैक्यूम सर्किट ब्रेकर का जो आउटर इनवेलप रहता है वो और सेरामिक का बना हुआ रहता है सेरामिक एक इंसुलेटेड मटेरियल होता है जो कि गांस को मैकेनिकल सपोर्ट प्रोवाइड करता है जो वैक्यूम चैम्बर है सील्ड एंड बिलोज सील्ड से मिलकर बनता है बिलोज सील्ड स्टेनलेस स्टील का बना हुआ रहता है जो कि मूविंग कॉन्टेक्ट को मूव कराता है वैक्यूम चैम्बर में वैक्यूम का प्रेशर 10 टू दी पावर माइनस सिक्स टोल रहता है वैसे भी 1960 में इन्वेंट हुआ था उस टाइम इसका साइज बहुत लार्ज था बट टेक्नोलॉजी डेवलप करने के कारण जो मॉडर्न बीसीबी रहता है उसका साइज स्मॉल रहता है वर्किंग ऑफ वैक्यूम सर्किट ब्रेकर एट नॉर्मल कंडीशन दोनों कॉन्टेक्ट जो है वो एक दूसरे से क्लोज रहता है और करंट को कैरी करता है और जैसे ही सिस्टम में किसी टाइप का फोल्ट अगर होता है तो मूविंग कॉन्टेक्ट मूव करता है जैसे ही दोनों कॉन्टेक्ट अलग होता है एक दूसरे से वहां पे आर्क का फॉर्मेशन होता है कि जो कॉन्टेक्ट है वो वैक्यूम में प्रेजेंट है तो वहां पे आर्क फॉर्म कैसे हुआ तो आप भी यहाँ पे ध्यान से देखिए वहां पर होता क्या है कि दोनों कॉन्टेक्ट का जो टिप है वो हाई टेम्परेचर के कारण हीट हो जाता है तो हाईली हीट होने के कारण दोनों टिप एज अ भैपर पॉजिटिव आय रिलीज करता है जब भैपर दोनों कॉन्टेक्ट के बीच में आता है टेम्परेचर के कारण आयोनाइज हो जाता है और एक मीडियम बन जाता है जिसके थ्रू करंट फ्लो करने लगता है जो कि एज आर हम लोग को दिखाई देता है आर्क में जो करंट का वैल्यू है उस पे वेपर रिलीज होने का रेट डिपेंड रहता है जब करंट का वैल्यू रिड्यूस होगा तो वेपर रिलीज होने का रेट भी रिड्यूस होगा एसी करेंट का ऐसा नेचर होता है कि वो अल्टरनेट फ्लो करता है तो जैसे ही करंट जीरो होगा मीडियम का डायलेक्ट्रिक स्ट्रेंथ रैपिडली हाई हो जाता है और जो आर्क है वो फर्स्ट हाफ साइकिल में ही क्विकली एक्सटिंग हो जाता है इस तरह से वैक्यूम सर्किट ब्रेकर ऑपरेट होता है बीसीबी का मेन एडवांटेज होता है कि ये आर्क को क्विकली एक्सटिंग कर देता है कंपेयर टू अदर सर्किट ब्रेकर वो फर्स्ट हाफ साइकिल में ही क्वेंच हो जाता है यह किसी भी एनवायरनमेंट में ऑपरेट हो सकता है इसमें लो मेंटेनेंस का रिक्वायरमेंट होता है वैक्यूम को क्रिएट करने के लिए हाई टेक्नोलॉजी का रिक्वायरमेंट होता है इसको रिपेयर करना थोड़ा सा कॉम्प्लिकेटेड होता है क्योंकि डैमेज होने का रिस्क रहता है वैक्यूम सर्किट ब्रेकर एक्सपेंसिव प्राइस पे मार्केट में अवेलेबल रहता है वैक्यूम सर्किट ब्रेकर का इंडस्ट्री में स्विचिंग पर्पस के लिए किया जाता है इसका यूज मीडियम वोल्टेज को डिस्कनेक्ट करने के लिए किया जाता है कॉमनली बीसीबी का यूज मैक्सिमम जगह पे किया जाता है क्योंकि इसमें फायर हजार का रिस्क नहीं रहता है और इसका जो ऑपरेशन होता है वो बहुत ही रेपिडली होता है तो इस तरह से कोई भी टॉपिक को अगर आप एनिमेशन के थ्रू समझना चाहते हैं तो चैनल को सब्सक्राइब कर ले और बेल आइकन को भी प्रेस कर ले ताकि वीडियोस आप तक पहुंच सके नाउ आई थिंक इट इज क्लियर क्लियर है सर ओके बच्चों दिस इज ऑल अबाउट यू हैव वीसीबी इन नेक्स्ट लेक्चर वी विल डिस्कस द लास्ट टॉपिक ऑफ योर सर्किट ब्रेकर दैट इज द रेटिंग ऑफ द सर्किट ब्रेकर फाइन सो नाउ इट्स द टाइम टू मार्क द अटेंडेंस आई विल शेयर द लिंक for marking the attendance on your chat box so all the students are requested to please mark the attendance and uh, those who have marked the attendance they can leave thank you so much